Hey guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day today and today I want to welcome you to episode 5 of The Weekly Review of Everything Canucks So in this week's episode we are actually going to start with bra moments So let's send it off to Hockey Hank Hello, my name is Hockey Hank and today I welcome you to bra moments Today's segment is going to be player review, where we are going to be reviewing Matt Murray. We are going to be reviewing Matt Murray because he has developed a fear and a denial for Brock Besser. This incident happened three years ago in Besser's rookie season, and in that season, Besser absolutely destroyed the Penguins in every single game he played against them. To show you this, I'm going to show you a clip that a legend on Reddit made. Enjoy! Weird bounces. Yeah, really weird bounces. You know, that first one, I think he gets pretty lucky. There's a ton of skates and sticks on the far side, and somehow, you know, it gets by. Second one goes off the guy's foot. You know, third one goes off our D-man in front. Lot of tough bounces. Here come the Canucks. Best with a chance. Shoot, scores! Pretty much all the goals he got were, were kind of hilarious if you think about it. Look at that wrist shot by Brock Besser. And the Brock Star gives the Canucks a one nothing lead. I mean, you gotta look at some of those goals and just laugh. Matt Murray's face is absolutely priceless. He looks like he wants to run through a galaxy far, far away and never come back. If you want to go check out the legend that made this clip, the link will be in the description below. Anyways, let's send it back to Canucks Review. Thanks, Hockey Hank. So now, let's talk about Nikolai Goldobin. We are going to be talking about him because he actually recently left the Canucks organization. It was actually pretty out of the blue because he just signed a two-year contract with CSKA Moscow, which is a team in the KHL. Don't get me wrong, he was a brilliant offensive player, but sometimes in the defensive zone, it didn't even seem like he was trying. This is actually really good for both sides, for the Canucks and Goldobin, because he really didn't have any potential here, but he will have way better potential in Russia, and he will probably be one of the best players there. Anyways, thanks for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed, please do not hesitate to leave a like and subscribe. And also, comment down below what you think of Goldobin leaving. And see ya!